you doing? I know you just got back from Success School. How's your Advo Care business going? Oh man, I tell you what, I'm fired up. I just got back from Dallas, Texas, Cowboy Stadium, sparked 25, 30 people on the way home, and I was just shoving it, in, just throwing it at people. Sparks, sparks, the greatest thing. I am going to Jackson Hole, um, and that's how I'm gonna do it right there. I'm just sparking. That is awesome. So tell me, how many people? are so excited and are going to join your team or are going to start on products and maybe start the challenge and become good, repeat, loyal customers? Well, I hadn't heard back from any of them yet. I gave them all my number and my, my information and just, man, I'm just waiting to hear back from them. They're going to start rolling in here. Order's going to pop. Boom! You've been, out there, Jackson Hole. You've been out there shaking them bushes. Shaking <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll all call me back. Though. <laughs> So, um, do you remember the part in Success School about follow-up and having a written list and all that where they talked about you have to maybe circle back to people, maybe I think it was seven times truly before they've really had the opportunity and you have to lead them through the steps and layer on that third-party credibility and um, because they're all in the middle of their lives and I know when somebody gives me a um, business card, I, I know it goes in there board for like three years unless I find it later and so I was just wondering you know maybe wonder if that would have been useful yeah probably probably would have been a good idea looking back <laughs> looking back but I, I do I think they'll all call me so what do you think maybe that you could do <laughs> different I mean now knowing you know thinking about you know you have to go back and review those notes and really think about it I putting these notes into action what do you think you might want to do different next time if, what? if they don't call. Get their information. <laughs> Get their permission to call them and follow up. Check this out. Okay. So, last time when we went for the trip, I used this little feller right here. There's also a, there's two versions that I've ever found. One of the things I've learned is that a lot of people, I don't even have a check mark close to their name yet because I haven't dropped AdvoCare on them yet because I like to form people, build a relationship, and wait for the timing. Um, so that I can position AdvoCare as a solution, um, and that way it's all about them. And then, as leaders, we're responsible for leading them to the next step. They're not going to call us and say, oh, I did love the spark. Can I have more info? I mean, that happens once in a blue moon. Can we do a three-way call with your leaders to answer my questions, or can we do a three-way call with your leaders so they can help me see the bigger vision of AdvoCare and invite me to the next big event? So here's a cool thing is if you start looking at this as truly a game like, um, like Candyland or Monopoly or something, instead of thinking about, you know, I am calling you to sell you these products, yes or no? Do you want them? Okay, no, move on and never look back. Everybody goes on this list, and then we're just going to drip and educate and help move them across the tracker. So well, that's what we came to work today. I said, hey, what do, what do you got cooking for AdvoCare today? And he asked me the same thing. And the cool thing is, is we both had loaded ourselves down with samples and impact magazines, and we're thinking Jackson Hole, which is based on new um, wholesale customers added since, like, Wednesday, I think. And so all of our team members and current customers are important, but the first priority every day after family and all that is um, new business. So that's what we're thinking about today. Yeah. Anything else? Yes. So, <laughs> this thing on. a parting thought uh, and, and speaking to myself and to you guys, uh, be bold. Uh, I'm ashamed to admit that yesterday uh, we had two different service people at our house doing some work and neither one of them left with a spark and Anna and I were both there. So uh, that's shame, shame on us. So, but be bold. I, I don't remember who said it last weekend on stage. Uh, sometimes myself, I get hung up and, you know, am I going to look stupid, number one? That's usually my biggest fear. Uh, and will this work? Oh, my gosh. And all the negativity comes down. But whoever said that ended that, for, that statement with, what if it does work? So go out there today. Be bold. Talk to someone. Um, do it tactfully, but talk to someone and have an awesome day, guys. Bye.